in not looking good news. Oh. oh. Right. <laughs> Submitted by Asian versus Mexican candy. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. That's a good one. Fusion. I like it both. Damn, They're that's so hard. different. Depends on the day. One's all fruity and and soft and cute. And one doesn't taste like anything. Well, the other one tastes Which like one? battery acid. I think the Asian candy has no taste to it. Why are you oh. trying all those gummies? So you're, you're going, your gummies taste are buds are pretty are burnt from all the fucking You don't stuff like high chews? All the Scovilles, perhaps. Yes, yeah, exactly. Researchers created a life-size doll of what office workers might look like in 20 years. What? But why? But they did also say we were going to have flying cars. But what do you mean? Exactly. That means we don't have to work no more? Dude, we're about to be in the year 2020. 2020. Everyone said that. You picked saying it the hardest way possible. <laughs> 2020. I know. Okay, okay. That's the future. But 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 the point is is that we're supposed to have rocket cars all the shit. Yeah. Jetsons we was self-driving cars. Well, not exactly. My mom Tesla's. was born in 1950 something. That old bitch. <laughs> uh-huh. That's old. Uh-huh. That back then, there was no cellular phones. Yeah. You just wanted to call her old bitch. Huh? I think so. I just wanted to put into perspective what an old bitch she was. I see. Uh-huh. Is. Is. Oh, she's alive. Cool. Oh. My stepdad, even older, that fucking wrinkle old raisin. He looks like a fucking melting fucking hamster. Jeez. Let's roast him. That's what this turned into. We're gonna roast, we're gonna go around and, and we're all gonna roast language, his dude. Can you imagine <laughs> being born at that era and seeing the future? Like just the other day, you know that fucking clear thing? As people were going through the airport, I'm like, fuck, we're in the future, dude. Well, that clear thing, what's that one? So clear is like TSA, but even better. You walk okay. through and then they just scan your face and then you walk through. Oh yeah. Well, like our phones, we just open up the fucking phone by looking at it. True, that's tight. We're in the fucking future. But I, I'm so disappointed in the future. Cause when I was a kid, I thought it'd be so different. The Jetsons really set a high standard. They did. The bar they was right really now. set. But yeah. did you know how much porn you will have free access to? I had no clue. That, that was not even imaginable no. to my puny human mind. Solid no. branding, man. I would yeah. not. Par partially, maybe why we haven't had as many advancements. Oh, we're jacking <laughs> off all day. Way too much. That's fun. true. Yeah, I think so. I think good. somebody out there who's going to do the flying car just can't stop jerking off. <laughs> We could have cured cancer, but that fucking nerd yep. was jacking off all day. Can't stop. Yep. Can't stop, won't stop. At least they won't give up. Yeah. Jack I like that. You were yeah. the one that was supposed to cure cancer. <laughs> Me? Yeah, but you were watching all that porn. I think it was a combination of porn, drugs, and fucking playing games all day. I think for you it was a combination of porn, drugs, porn, porn, and porn. <laughs> <laughs> all the porn. <laughs> Documentary somewhere in there. Yeah, there you go, baby. <laughs> Maybe he started watching one of these. Starts watching porn on his phone. <laughs> it's too easy now. So you don't watch as much porn. <laughs> yeah, right. What's what? that mean? He's talked about the big titty, fucking big dick people. Yeah, the big titty, big dick. Oh, people. I don't actually. No, I watched that like five, seven years ago. It's not a recent thing. <laughs> yeah, it just recent but to you, you the guys. Current trend is fucking incest or like brother sister yeah. fucking. Yeah. That, that was, the trend. You know that was four years ago. Say so everyone knows that. That was four years ago. Gina even knew that. Yeah, everyone knows that. All right. You don't watch porn enough. <laughs> okay, true. She's a mom, dude. Moms fuck. <laughs> Moms watch porn. Too. I think they make they that baby. Try, I appreciate they that. They don't watch porn. Uh, yeah. What? Moms watch porn. I think moms watch the Your most mom porn. Moms watch porn, Bicho. You yeah. need to accept that. <laughs> Your mom might even be addicted to porn, Bicho. Yeah, so Bro, know. come on. I hope so. You need to come cool. to terms, okay? Yeah. That'd be kind of cool for you. Another sibling, you know. Oh. Thirty years. Wait, in how here. do you get a sibling out of porn watching? Mm -hmm. I don't know. They get they get horny. You know that they're old enough where they're past that. What's that? Menopause? Yeah. Well, She's like, mom. you could bust it up oh, all day. After menopause, you can't get pregnant yeah. anymore. You're yeah. done. All for us? The factory yeah. shuts down. All right, right, right. So that's what menopause is. I totally forgot. It's all right. Now nah, I'm just really sad. I wonder if women get excited because they're like, afterwards, they're like, you could come in all you want. But they're not even no, horny anymore. Yeah, they're not horny, horny anymore, though. Oh, is that why the mustache yeah. comes out? They yeah. start growing, like, we man features. Damn, what an evil trick God's playing on us. Right? Well, no, but, it's good because it's supposed to stop you from fucking because you're not supposed to procreate anymore. Oh yeah, and there would be a cure for menopause, but the guy who was, would be working on it is jerking off all day. Exactly. Yeah, that's the answer to all the, all right. the un answer. Questions. Yeah, let's let's shut down porn. Or girl, she's jilling off. Sorry, everybody. Jilling? She's jilling around. Yeah, jilling off. She's DJing. Jacking off and jilling off. I never jilling heard jilling. That's why there's Jack and Jill bathrooms, so yeah. both guys and girls can jack off in there. Yeah. I never knew that. Well, now you know. It's uh, yeah, it's pretty legit. True, I so jacking DJing. off, jilling off. Yep. Yeah. Damn, mine is blown. Anyway, we're talking about the. 
future wor office worker here. It has nothing to do with porn or drinking off. Can you show me a picture? Everything knows, but show me a picture, please. <laughs> All right, so researchers <laughs> made, they created this model of what the office worker would look like in as little as 20 years. The human being or the environment? Human being. Oh, shit. Yeah. So they're saying. Let me guess, like this. Our hip flexors are gonna be so tight from sitting that they just look like this all the time. They look like they're, they're sitting down all the time? Yeah, and your shoulders are like this, forward, from being on the computer. I thought it was gonna look like Instagram models. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're hotter. So is they created Emma. Because yeah. people are oh. getting hotter. This is Emma, which looks exactly like what Bart did. <gasps> oh, shit! I wow, knew it. Wow, that's yeah, creepy. Oh, so yeah, she why is that the future? She just looks like a fat girl now. Yeah, that's why they're saying. No, so they're saying that this will just be like the that's norm. The standard. Yeah. Even look at her legs. That's bad circulation. Yeah, she doesn't move. Yeah. She has like stress-induced eczema on her arms. But can't she wear she some has... future shit, like some, some space foil or something? Something. Oh my hunch. god! Look at her fucking neck. neck. Oh Jesus! That's that, that's that laptop. That's a nerd neck. And ever? then her eyes are like really red and dry and like. Fucked up because she's staring at a screen all day. Oh, you know what else hasn't evolved past desk? And then her skin tone night. is really white and from not being in the sun. The fluorescent light. Oh, she looks so fucking bad. So she likes to fucking go online like this. Well, just years of just like. Damn, she looks fucking expired. <laughs> How's she alive? Why did I make her smile? That's what makes it creepy. Yeah, true. That's yeah. what we need to exercise, dude. We need to exercise. Her wrist and, and go in the sun a little bit. Stand yeah. up from your chair. Yeah. That's exactly what they're saying. Is that there's yeah. teachers that like look that. like that already? Yeah. Stand up right now. Yeah. Fuck it. Okay, there's Fuck teachers it. that look like that already. <laughs> Man, I think every two hours you want to stand up. So put a put something. I know. I ignore. Watch tells us. I ignore my watch every hour. Me too. I'm like, stand I up. Turn it off. That's amazing. I'm like, you're annoying. <laughs> you're like, you're annoying. You're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm like every yeah. ignoring. You're annoying. You're annoying. You're annoying. No, for real, I feel the little fucking hunch happening. Yeah, happen see, here. I could probably rest the bottle right there. Yeah, see? For sure. Yeah. I heard that we're gonna wor work less hours in the office anyway in the future because of e efficiency. Mm -hmm. And robots. Robots. The robots. You because they'll, they'll be working for us, hopefully. And then people are not gonna have that many jobs. Yep. So, uh, they, so researchers surveyed more than 3,000 office workers in France, Germany, and the UK, and they learned that 50% of them complained of strained eyes, 49% of sore backs, 48% of headaches, 45% of numb necks, among other symptoms that they blamed on their workspace. I feel like blue collar work might even be healthier. Yeah, yeah, at least yeah. you're moving around. Yeah, you're moving around, you're standing up, you're talking to people, probably got like a bay door open, got some sunlight coming in. I always like blue collar work more than office work anyway. Hell yeah, I do too. Yeah. My brother-in-law's a plumber and they fucking kill it. They do really well. Like you can make between 80 and 100 a year as a, as a fucking plumber. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's my brother. There's just a it. risk to injury and all that and you, you, you get tired when you get older. Right. But then there are some guys though that are like, still doing contract work well into their 60s and 70s and it keeps them healthy. It's like farmers. Yeah. Yeah, our new contractor, he's probably like 60 or something. He moves around really good. He, he looks like he's in his 40s. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. That's a big difference. <laughs> Rick? He got kids that are like almost 30 years old. That doesn't matter. Oh, he's, he's Mexican. Not... I forgot. My bad. Uh, That's true. He could have had kids when he was 15. He's, well, he's 40 he's 30. and his kid's, in his, his kid's not in his 30s. He's his kid looks like he's in his 20s. No, he's not, he's not 30. He's no, he has, a, he has a, a daughter that's older than him. Oh, oh maybe uh, by a year. How does he have a daughter that's older than him? No, no, oh, older than him. Were you even listening? You said a one year older than him. That's your joke. Come on. That's how the future works. Oh, like, damn. That's just how Mexican years work, bro. Are you my dog? Mexicans age like dogs. <laughs> Your dog, his own daughter surpassed him in age. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's scary. So anyway, so this whole Emma project here, it is important to note that this report isn't peer, a peer-reviewed scientific study. It was oh. commissioned by an office furniture company. Fuck oh it. god. Yeah. Cause they're like, you want lumbar support. You want you want special you want chairs. Like if not, blow shit. It worked. Pretty much, because they're saying that um pretty much like businesses need to look at their work environment and not They you know, do. Yeah, and like actually make it ergonomically safe for their workers. Our chairs are these ergonomic? They are. 
These are really I feel expensive. much better on these chairs than we did on our other IKEA ones. The, IKEA the twenty dollar ones. ones. Yeah. Did well, you these know? These are like a thousand dollars. Did you know there's there's this study that uh, terminally ill people in a hospital, when they have a window that they can see nature, have a much higher chance of uh, beating whatever their yeah. their disease. Yeah. So like when you're in a hospital and you're just like you just in a box. You look at another building, or you just look at concrete jungle, or you're in a box you actually don't heal that much. So like nature is really important. To yeah, um, the I hospital that. I used to work at, yeah. they, they they remodeled like the main building of the yeah. hospital to create an atrium in the middle of the hospital. Oh, that's tight. So I'm like, I like that's that. tight. Yeah. yeah, so they have like a whole cutout in the middle. So our, our environment's middle. important. We're wired to have uh, these calm feelings go when, when we see blue. Yeah. So like the sky blue. Oh, all they that also stuff. have the this new. You know how our ceiling here, how they have like sections that you could remove. They have ones that it's like painted like the sky and like it looks like flowers and stuff. And that I same think hospital. We need, I think we need real shit. It's no, been, but at least it helps. It's, it's right. better than this. It's been proven that like sitting, um, like let's say nine hours straight or whatever, is worse than smoking. Dude, when I had kidney stones a year ago, that was one of the most depressing months of my entire life because I couldn't go anywhere, I couldn't fucking do anything. I was just like inside all the time. And in pain and inside. And, yeah. it, and just going, being able to go for outside For nine after months? That. No, for a month. Did oh, you look oh out the God. window and see some trees? Well, sure, but it doesn't, well, you gotta get that light on you, man. Yeah. Like it, but it was hard, it was hard for me to move around. And I don't like living in a cave. Yeah, I mean, yeah. fever. Yeah. yeah. I get some sun every day. Yeah. That's true, what? When I uh, got my wisdom teeth removed and I was indoors for like four days straight and I didn't step outside at all, I started getting depressed and I started thinking like, oh my God, is this my life forever? Am I gonna look like a chipmunk for the rest of my life? And then finally I was just like, you know what? I need to get the fuck out of here. So I went to go get groceries and just that quick trip to the grocery store, I started feeling got tired, like a thousand huh? times better. <laughs> no, I started feeling better. <laughs> like I took 10 steps and I turned around and went to sleep.